We're learning new details on how David Sweat and Richard Matt were aided in their escape. An official close to the investigation tells CNN, Gene Palmer, a prison guard, gave at least one of the inmates a screwdriver and needle-nosed pliers, supposedly to help fix electrical breakers in the catwalk area behind their cells so they could use hot plates in those cells to cook. The tools were later found at Palmer's home after police executed a search warrant. Palmer gave access and supervised Matt and Sweat while they worked on the breakers, taking the tools back at the end of his shift. These are the same catwalks used during the inmates' elaborate escape 20 days ago. He's a man of integrity. He's fully cooperated with this investigation. He understands that it's a public emergency. He wants these two to be captured. Palmer also accepted paintings from Matt and Sweat, according to court documents. A search of Palmer's house by investigators showed he tried to destroy the paintings by burning some in a fire pit and burying others in the woods. In an NPR radio interview from 15 years ago, Palmer describes life inside the Clinton Correctional Facility as a negative environment. He went on to say that life as a prison guard is as miserable as the lives of the prisoners themselves. With the money that they pay you, you'll go bald, you'll have high blood pressure, you'll become an alcoholic, you'll divorce and you'll kill yourself. Palmer bailed himself out of jail, paying the $25,000 bail with a credit card. Joyce Mitchell, the other prison employee charged in connection with the escape, allegedly put hacksaw blades and drill bits into chunks of hamburger meat. She then asked Palmer to take the meat to the inmate's cell. Palmer did not run the meat through a metal detector, a direct violation of prison policy. He was conned by Joyce Mitchell. She duped him. And looking back on that, he can't believe that someone would take advantage of him. As convicted killer Richard Matt turns 49 today, hundreds of law enforcement officers are still searching through dense woods around a hunting cabin that the fugitives are believed to have burglarized. Boots and a sock were found inside that cabin. There's a sock that's been recovered as um, listed as white and red, and the, the red uh, could obviously be blood. I do know that uh, a DNA profile was uh, from one of the socks.